SK South here, SK to everybody. I finally found the used fishing boat I wanted. I got me a nice 16 foot Express by Alumina Weld with a 40 horse Yamaha and a nice tilt trailer. Although the trailer will be replaced with the trailer I have outside since it's a little wider, the boat will set down lower and make it easier to launch. Another thing that's going to make launches easier, I have an electric winch I'm going to be mounting to that trailer. So that's a project I can share with y'all a little later. You can see it's a bit tight in here. This is a one car garage and I have all my tools in here. You can't even see my MIG welders or torches over there hidden in the corner. But everything I need in tools is here. It's just hidden away, taken out and used when needed. So with that we're going to get this job going. The first project for this boat rebuild is this bilge area. As you can see by this piece of aluminum angle and these two stainless steel hinges, somebody had a sheet of plywood across here at some point. Well, I've got quarter inch aluminum sheet that I'm going to use to fabricate a new cover. Also, these sides on either side of the bilge, I had thought those were for flotation and foam filled, but when I got to looking in there, they're empty. They're hollow. So I'm going to be cutting access in either side of the bilge, and that'll be the place where I can store my six gallon fuel tanks. At some point the previous owner installed seat bases to the bench seat which is also the lid for the storage area. These seat bases allow you to install seats that will swivel and then can be moved to other areas of the boat where there's other seat bases. Unfortunately, the inserts for these seat bases are cracked, worn, and rounded out. So I plan to drive them out and fabricate some new inserts out of EPDM and that's another project. We'll see how that goes. The holes where these seat bases were in this cover, because I am eliminating them, will be ground down and welded shut with sheet aluminum. And then I'll be cleaning out the storage area because it's a great place to keep tackle boxes and smaller rods and things. In this shot you can see one of my six gallon gas cans. The other one's outside because I have fuel in it. And on the side of the con there, those rod holders, I'll be taking those off and moving them somewhere else. That's not a very convenient position for them. From the con to the shifter and from the shifter back to the motor, all of the wiring is exposed and some of it was put in with Romax. So we're going to be rewiring part of it and hiding all the wires either under the decks or as between the con and the shifter in a piece of conduit. The deck in the boat right now is plywood covered in carpet, which we know is going to rot in a saltwater environment. So to head that off, I'm going to rip it out and replace the deck with aluminum sheeting. All of the interior will be finished with self-etching primer and then painted white with non-skid. The side rails are fiberboard covered in marine grade carpeting. They're kind of old and faded and I think I'm just going to eliminate them completely and just have a white finish on the inside walls of the boat kind of like my old boat. Got a trolling motor for it although the mount is broken inside but as you see I've got a spare mount. So there will be a project of my putting the new mount on the trolling motor so they can get it mounted up on the boat. It's always nice to have a trolling motor when you're chasing the bait. That seat base was in this boat when I got it. It was corroded. I ran it across a wire brush and grinder wheel and uh, it shined up real nice. 